In this video, I'm going to look at amides. So we're going to start by classifying amides. We're then going to look at how to name them. And then I'll give you some examples of amides used in everyday life. And we'll finish with how to make them. So on the right there, we've got the general structure of an amide. And the key part of the molecule is this C double bond O then single bond to an N. So that's the amide group. And you can see down the left hand side, if both of these R's are hydrogens, then that's what we call a primary amide. If one of these R's is a hydrogen and the other is a carbon group, then that's a secondary amide. And if both of these R's are carbon groups, then that's what we call a tertiary amide. So there's the structure of a primary amide. So we'll look at how to name these now. So you can see the first one there I've named for you. So that's called propanamide. And that's because we've got three carbons in the amide um, part of the molecule. So the way I think about it is, what would that be called if it was a carboxylic acid? It would be called propanoic acid, but it's an amide, so it's called propanamide. So if you want to have a look at the other three, and then have a go at naming them. So this one here, we've got one, two, three, four, five carbons. If that was a carboxylic acid, it would be pentanoic acid, so it's called pentanamide. The next one, seven carbons in the chain, so that would be heptanoic acid, so it's heptanamide. So the last one, if that NH2 group was a hydrogen, it would be benzoic acid, and so we call this one benzamide. So secondary amides now, so on the end we've got a carbon group and a hydrogen. So how would you name these? Well, I've done one for you, and I'll just explain the name. Again, think about this part as a carboxylic acid. So this would be ethanoic acid. There's the ethanamide bit. So what else have we got? Well, on the N, we've got an ethyl group bonded. So we call it N-ethyl ethanamide. So if you want to have a go at the other two, So this, if it was a carboxylic acid, would be 1, 2, 3, 4, so butanoic acid, so butanamide. And what have we got here? It's a phenyl group on the N, so it's called N-phenyl butanamide. And the last one, carboxylic acid, would have been benzoic acid. So this is going to be one of those benzamides. And we've got a phenyl group on the N, so it's N-phenyl benzamide. So tertiary amides now, we've got two carbon groups on the N now, so no hydrogen at all. So there's one done for you, NN dimethyl methanamide. So that would have been methanoic acid. We've got methyl groups, both on the N, so it's NN dimethyl methanamide. So what's the one on the right called? So this would have been benzoic acid, so it's going to be benzamide. What have we got on the N? We've got an ethyl group and a methyl group. So the alphabet rule kicks in. E comes before M, so it's N-ethyl, N-methyl, benzamide. Some everyday examples now. We've got this amide here, which is found in insect repellent. So we'll just have a look at the structure of it and classify it. So on the end, we've got two carbons, or two carbon groups. So this is a tertiary amide. So what are we going to call this? 
Well, the carboxylic acid part, well, there's benzoic acid, but we've got a methyl group on carbon number 1, 2, 3. So this would have been 3-methyl benzoic acid, but it's actually 3-methyl benzamide. And then on the end, we've got two ethyl groups. So it's called NN diethyl 3 methyl benzamide. And this one here, you can see it's the molecule found in paracetamol. But what's its chemical name? Let's just see what kind of amide it is. So we've got a hydrogen and a carbon group on the end. So this is a secondary amide. Two carbons, so ethanoic acid, therefore ethanamide. What have we got on the N? Well, we've got a phenyl group with an OH group on carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is N, 4-hydroxyphenyl ethanamide. So we'll finish with the production of amides. You can see I've typed up there, amides can be produced by reacting acyl chlorides. That's these things here. This is all ethanoyl chloride with ammonia or amines. You'll notice I've written the ammonia and the amines slightly differently. And that's just to make it look easier on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to take the H and the Cl and make the HCl molecule, and then the rest of the ammonia or amine attaches to the carbon with the double bonded O on. So hopefully you can see that it working in these three structures. So what's this primary amide called? Well, it's a nice easy one to name, ethanamide. The next one, well, we've got methyl group on the nitrogen of ethanamide and so it's N-methyl ethanamide and then this tertiary amide it's just N-N-dimethyl ethanamide.